Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I just have a quick video for you, and I just wanted to share how I like to, um, like, practice my aim and, you know, train for, like, precision, um, when playing Spellbreak. Because, obviously, if you don't know, I'm very not well versed in, like, Battle Royale games, or even just, like, third-person shooters in general, so when I started playing this game, my aim was definitely not great. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's great now, but, you know, it's better than it was, and it's definitely improved thanks to this. So basically what it is, is I like to look down and jump into the air and then quickly look up and be able to move my cursor onto my opponent and quickly fire at them. Because I find this really good for just being able to place your cursor, correct it, what the heck? Oh yeah, because I don't actually get explosion damage from the, um, from the fire because I'm not a fire main at the moment. I, I'm not, not maining fire gauntlet. But yeah, so you look down. You jump into the air, change it every time so you know to a different height so you're not like doing the same thing. You can maybe jump a bit higher and then just try and react and like shoot as quick as possible. That was a bad one. I tried to do it too fast then. But like try to quickly place your cursor on the opponent and as soon as you know it's there, like shoot at them so that you like get really good at quickly like aiming, seeing, like recognizing your opponent, seeing that they're in like your uh, range and like quickly see like that was bad there. I was actually using predictions and I did it wrong. But yeah, and then you can like move around and do it and then like jump like there. So you've got like a bit of a like a jump curve, a jump arc, so that you have to adjust to that as well. So as you're falling, you know, you have to move. And yeah, so this is just really good for like increasing your reactions and being able to like quickly, you know, adjust and uh, hit your opponent effectively. And obviously it's easier with uh, classes like um, uh, with a, a fire gauntlet or a... Um, Toxic Gauntlet, because they have quite large hitbox. Even with a Wind Gauntlet, it's pretty easy, because they, like, can launch really rapidly. But it is quite hard with a, um, a Frost, a Frost Gauntlet, because you have to, like, react really quickly, and it has a long charge-up time, and it has a very small actual hitbox, like the arrow. So you need to hit, like, perfectly, and, like, be able to react super fast. And I'm not great at this one yet, but, um, you know, I'm trying. Oh, I had to hit that one. But um, obviously, like, as you get the Frostmon charge up, you can actually hold it down and it becomes a lot easier. But I just like to practice, you know, with, like, a regular jump and just quickly, like, aiming. And just so I can, you know, get good at quickly putting my cursor on my opponent, recognizing that it's gonna, like, it's at them, and quickly shooting my opponent. And obviously you can do that, like, with your different, um, like, training dummies that you have. Oh my god, wow, that was really good. <laughs> but, you know, I find it just good so you're, like, you're not looking at them, so it's not like, whoa, that was really, really good. But yeah, it's good for just like, I find, I think I've said this like 200 times, how many times can I repeat myself? But I find it difficult to be able to quickly place my cursor on the opponent, or my crosshair I should say, on the opponent and like quickly like hit them. Um, so yeah, I find this is really good for that and just getting good at you know, moving your mouse or moving your joystick if you're playing on console. And uh, yeah, so that's a technique that I find very useful. Obviously you can try it with sorceries, but you don't really need it. But uh, yeah, anyways, I just that was just a four short video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, I might see you next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, bye.